Hello Leo, welcome to my channel, welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys. Hope you guys are doing well. So this is your general, your general love reading for uh, May. We're going to take a look and see who's showing up in your reading. See what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself and of course vice versa. Is. Feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading. It is timestamped. So if you click in the description bar below, you'll see where it says start reading. Click on that. It will bring you to the uh, start of the reading. So this section is just really for those that just kind of prefer to see me shuffle on camera. Okay, so as I always say, just take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Okay. And if this isn't your story, if I don't, you know, pick up on your story, you can stick around as sometimes there just could be messages throughout that jump out and speak to you. I need to grab that card and cut and check the shot. And of course, just use this as a guide to support you and move you in the direction of where you're wanting to go. Because ultimately, we, we create our own reality. Okay, so give me a moment to just take these in and I'll be back. All right, so Leah, let's start your reading. And of course, take whatever side resonates with you guys and picking up as uh, this being your side, the person that you're dealing with over here. But you could always flip switch whatever side kind of resonates the most. Okay, and of course, if this doesn't resonate with yourself, feel free to check out your other weekly or uh, monthly readings um, for your sign, Scorpio. Scorpio. Uh, Leah has just did Scorpio. Uh, we should be pinned in the corner as we speak. So let's start your reading. So just looking at the past, there seems to be some form of something around confusion with the seven there. Um, this person feels like there's been some form of injustice. So there's some, something that's happened that's caused this person to feel like they've come out uh, the, maybe the short end of the, the stick, if that's the saying. There's been some form of injustice that's happened, maybe an apology that needs to be had, an explanation that needs to be had, and that's just not being had. And they're kind of feeling the loss of this, the loss of uh, an element or aspect of this relationship. There's a loss that they're feeling there. Or that they was feeling that. Yeah, with you, it they might not even be telling you really as well with that Seven of Swords. They might not have told you. That's for some of you. The you... Yeah, and they wanted things to turn around in their favor. It's like, you know, they wanted things to turn around, but they're feeling that loss there. Yeah, in regards to the relationship. So even if you hadn't broken up, because I don't feel like for some of you, a lot of you, you've broken up. I feel like you're just kind of facing something that's happened that's caused confusion, especially for this person. And they're feeling the loss of an aspect or an element of this relationship, of this connection. Yours kind of moving slowly um towards this person or there's hesitation there but you're adamant about 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 move about something adamant about the moving uh here we go there we go it seems like someone is wanting their cake and eating it too i'm sorry but i'm gonna call the cards as it is it is what it is it is what it is i'm afraid um yeah, it seems like there was some definitely, you, you do have an emotional connection with this person, definitely. You know, you want to move ahead with them, but there's something around you wanting to do as you please. It doesn't have to be a person. This three of, cup could, three of cups could represent just a third energy, a third um, dynamic. Some, it could be what, it could be anything literally, but it's, it's causing an interference. Which you're drawn towards as well. It's like you're adamant about having it holding on to it maintaining it engaging with it yeah there's a uh, an adamant like a dominant type of vibe around that Leo which brings us to where we are at the moment um so there's it's having it's having an 
on this relationship represented by the three of swords um yeah there's been some hurt that's been created in this relationship but you're just wanting to move on move on from that i just want to move on from that i want to move forward i want to leave that baggage in the past i want to leave whatever it is that we've gone through in the past and i want us to just move ahead uh towards that ninth cup which is this is your thinking so we've got the eight of cup yeah it's just again mirroring what you're wanting it's just you're not saying there's certain things that you're not saying that there's certain things that you're not willing to do you're not willing to act upon you're wanting to kind of just brush things under the rug and move on move ahead where with your person it's like yes there's still feelings there yes there's still emotions there but there's hesitancy there we've got the knight of cups which talk there's a very much a slow moving or hesitation i usually kind of feel from this card um so yes i feel for you and i still care about you and i still have emotions for you but i'm hesitant now. i'm kind of you know i'm hesitant what they're wanting is for you to put this back into alignment for you to apologize or to make a difference or do something that's going to change that injust that they feel and that they're feeling because what happens is is we've got the eight of pentacles that's in their challenge so the fact that you know the, 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 eight, of, oh, the, the eight of pentacles kind of represents you know putting work into something diligently focusing on something and putting work into it that's in their challenge so you're not going to get and I say this, and I'm going to stress this as well, simply because of what's coming up for you. You're not going to get this person's full um, engagement in this relationship until this has been sorted. And you're just not wanting to do that. Again, we've got the death card mirroring. Um, this is in your challenge. That, cha that represents transformation, putting something to an end and birthing of something new. There's reasons why, what's the reasons why you don't want to if it's a conversation that needs to be had, why you're not wanting to, as I say that, the communication card comes out. What, what, why is there a reason why you're not wanting to? <laughs> ah, there you go. And because of judgment. I feel like this person is going to judge you. There's going to be a judging aspect to this and you're just not wanting to deal with that. But yet you want to move on from this relationship. And that's just not how it goes, I'm afraid, Leo. That's just not how... With specific, look, specifically with this person you're not going to get what you used to get with them if you don't deal and handle this in the way that it should i mean you know relationships are about communication if this person has still had still has some pressing thoughts about something around something that's happened then a conversation or an explanation or an apology needs to be had uh, just to kind of ease someone's emotional and mental space but you're just not winning why because you're thinking that you're going to be judged there's going to be some form of judgment there um yeah <laughs> see so they're going to be and it's not to say they don't want to continue with this relationship they do we've got the king of of um swords so the king of wands but then we, we have the king of the sorry the two of swords here i'm not gonna i'm not gonna, I'm not gonna deal with those thoughts or deal with those emotions because I'm still waiting on my apology. I'm still waiting for this to be sorted. So there is this, I want to start again. I want to take a risk, uh, embark on this journey, this next chapter with you. But again, it's, I'm not, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to, oh, look and love. But we've got that three of swords. It's hurt. Hurt's been established in this relationship, Leo. And if you want to continue with this relationship, you need to fix it. You need to fix it. You know what you need to do. I'm not going to go in to that. I feel like a lot of you know what you need to do. You're just kind of fearing that this person's going to judge you. Now, I mean, if you're looking long term with this person, and you're looking for a relationship with substance. Ish happens. Ish happens. It's getting through that and how you get through that, that, you know, builds the type of relationship and connection that you ultimately have with someone. Yes, you may get judged. Yes, because you might have been playing the, the you know, being an a-hole. Um, but ultimately, you know, you're strong enough. And this, this pull on this emperor card, which talks about, you know, having just being strong. You're strong enough to take that. You know, sometimes if you've done wrong, you've got to stand on that. You've got to take it, take, take that hit. 
in order for you to kind of move through it. So, yeah, you might be judged, but, you know, are you going to lose this relationship or are you going to, is it going to be too late if you decide later on, you know? I mean, of passion, of desire, you just wanted to move on. It's like, I just want to see things in a different way now. I want to move on. I want to take action. I don't want to deal with this. I don't want to deal with that confusion. Yeah, I don't want to deal with that. I'm not going to keep pulling. I'm not going to keep pulling. You know what you need to do. Usually we move into part two of the reading at this point. And we get an eye. We kind of look and see where this moves to. Um, but as you guys know, I won't be implementing that until uh, next two weeks, guys. So just bear with me. Technical issues with the website at the moment. But um, as it stands, based on the spread as it stands, this person, you don't want them to start disengaging to the point where you start to feel the, the distance between you both. You know, it means a lot to them. Um, you can do it. You can do it. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, do you see that? It's in your challenge. Aces talks about um, an opportunity to create something new. You have to go through the fire in order for you to come out the other end. I'll leave it as that. So hopefully this is giving you some form of clarity. For those of you who don't know, I do weekly uh, singles and love readings. If that's something that, uh, that you're interested in, uh, it's like and subscribe as they say. Other than that, have a beautiful, beautiful day. And I shall see you next week.